Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever. Thank you very much for joining me this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Day. Uh, last time out, we're just going to get straight into this without wasting any time, no dilly-dallying. Uh, we were struggling to get this crossed over, as you can see in the in the format that we are trying to currently get it crossed over. So you can see we were trying a tunnel, we were trying all sorts of stuff over here to get it crossed over, and it just was not working. So I left it to the comments. I left it to you guys to tell me what do you suggest we do? Because as you can see, at this point in time, we have nothing more than an Alton Towers roller coaster. Um, I will change that reference for those people in America to. I don't know any of your theme parks, I'm sorry. Um, generic, insert generic theme park name here. Maybe Disneyland, maybe Disneyland. They have roller coasters, don't they? But yes, it's just not. I mean, look at that. It's wonderful if you want a log flume or a roller coaster. It's absolutely wonderful. But it's not suitable for a railway. So we need to change this. And we are going to change this right here, right now. This tunnel over here, we're going to keep. This tunnel works absolutely fine for us and it stays at a reasonable, as you can see, that stays at a reasonable height. This tunnel, however, is going to disappear now. After all this work, it's going to disappear in favour of a bridge because that is what was suggested. Get rid of the tunnel and make a bridge and that's exactly what I'm going to do. So there we go. Let's smooth this out to begin with. Make this very easily. You know what? We're going to bring the terrain back up here and then smooth it out. So it does look more like the hill that it used to look like. Uh, we need to add a little bit more terrain in here. Some terrain around there. Terrain along there. And a little bit of terrain I think was there. And then if we just smooth that, that should give us the hill that we used to have uh, yeah that's roughly maybe just need to smooth that down like so that's roughly given us the hill that we used to have fantastic now let's smooth this as well like so I want to make sure this looks okay there we go that looks all right and just clean up this little bit there job done and now we're going to do the part that we need to do the important part we need to bridge this so if we were to just do a straight attempt at that, too much curvature, too much slope, construction not possible. Uh, right, so how's this bridge going to work? Let's see. All right, if we start bringing it straight up from here, so you can see that one goes down, this one goes along, so if we follow this one just a little bit, I will start putting electric tracks in at some point. Don't worry. Right, where do we need to stop bridging this? See, I can't do that. I suppose I can do that. Uh, maybe, maybe we need to start bridging it a little bit earlier. We're going to start... Actually, yes, we are. We're going to peel it off earlier and start bridging it earlier. So, we're actually going to peel it off. Uh, where do we not need track swaps we don't need track swaps along this section here so we're going to go from here and immediately at that point there we're going to stop peeling it off there we go and we'll start actually lifting it up as smoothly as we can so you can see clearly there that is now going uphill now the question is, no, don't do that. I want to see how close or how you work on the uphill. I feel like that is enough to bridge. That is genuinely enough to bridge. Um, just give it a little bit more spacing. Like that. Right, no, stop that. I don't want you to do that. What is that going to want? You're, you're going to want an even sharper... Alright, hold on. No, so now you see you're trying to tunnel. So we don't want that. We are going to... 
It's going to be a slow corner, that's for sure. But then what do you expect? No, come on. Come on. To be honest, the, the trains are not going to be able to accelerate through this anyway. So we'll cut it through like so. There we go. There we go. We are now... We've got the bridge. We've got the bridge. We've got what we wanted. Right. Um, the issue here is I feel like that's gone too, too far up. Because obviously it wants to connect up like so. I feel like... It's not, it's not terrible, but it is too, uh, actually, you know, it's probably not too high, is it? Uh, okay, hold on, hold on, bring this back, do this, but we're not going to follow that now, we're going to actually bring it down a little bit, uh, and we're going to bring it that side, like so. There we go. There we go, there we go. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. No. Do do this for me, please. Like so. Okay. And there's the connection that we wanted. That is definitely the connection we wanted. However, however, we can improve upon this because we can start taking this one uphill somewhat as opposed to where it was uh, 70 miles an hour I feel like that's a, no, there we go there's 70 I think that's a suitable let's have a look autosave of course yeah, I think that's suitable although I feel like because we've got this downhill dip going on we can fix it Bye. Tell you what. From this point here, we can just make it go upwards. There we go. Even smoother. Even smoother. That I like. And that's a nice smooth incline. How lovely. Now what yeah, now what we can do. So we're going to now see if we can give some speed on this. 60 miles an hour? Uh, yeah, yeah, I suppose 60 will do. Like that. I feel like that's pretty good and we can clean this section up. Let's try and make that nice and smooth now. That's 139 miles per hour. That's much smoother. And the junction is acceptable to me. It's not... Mm, I'm, I'm not all too sure about the junction, but it is acceptable. I'm going to, I'm going to have to take that. Uh, we'll smooth this out. We'll smooth that out. And I tell you what, let's really smooth this out. Because I feel like that's, a, that's an opportunity right there for us. That's a golden opportunity. There we go. Smooth this out a little bit. And even smooth a little bit around here. Like so. The rest of these can stay. Nothing more we can do about that. Uh, this I feel like we should possibly smooth out one side. Should be this side over here that we need to smooth out. Like so, yep, and then we'll smooth out this side just a smidge. There we go. That's good. Gentle slopes. You can see that's, yep, that looks really good to me. Alright, let's check all the um, lines. Now get rid of that and just check all the lines for me, please. Thank you. Okay. Right, let's uh, show me visible lines only, bring you up, all of those that are going in and out of here, which is basically all of them, uh, no, except that one, we don't need that one, we'll leave that one on the side, 
So it's you four that I need to be concerned about. Yep, okay, great. Let's uh, let's see where you guys come in and out. So, on these routes, you're over... Right, hold on, who's where? You're there, but you're going to join in from there. That's absolutely fine by me. You are going to cross that way, which is, again, that's fine by me. Um, who else is on this line then? Yeah, that's that's okay. So you're going to continue along that way. Um, if I were to put you in the middle, that would stop you from. No, we're still going to need to. We're still going to have a little bit of traffic. That's for sure. Yeah, we we are still going to have some traffic, but not a lot. That's the important part. We're not going to have a lot of traffic. Okay, okay, good. I feel like everybody is in and out on the right on the right sides. As a matter of fact, this can also this will also open up opportunities for us to run another train into this platform and have it run out along this line. So we, we have opportunities here now for expansion, which is really good. Uh, next up we'll have some signaling. So let's uh, figure out which way these lines are going because obviously the lines are not going in the directions they used to go. So that's, it's important for us to understand where they are going now. So let's add in some signals. And I'll, I will actually add in dwarf signals. I just feel like on an approach to a station this is just the, the better option. So we'll have one there and we'll have one there. And that looks pretty good. So that's only going to allow a single train in. However, because of the extra space we now have, I can easily I can easily fit another just here at the end of the tunnel. Is that going to be enough for a train to fit in? I feel like that may be pushing it just slightly, so I'm going to I'm actually going to put some signals in the tunnel. One and two. There we go. That's definitely enough for some trains to get in. Uh, on the outbound routes, we're going to have a full signal right here uh, for both of these. There we go. Full signals on both. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to have another signal. I kind of don't want it on the hill. I'd rather have it up on the bridge. Yeah, it's going to be better on the bridge for it. And for this one on the outbound, we're going to have it in the tunnel. Yeah, I feel like that's... I feel like that's suitable. There we go. So that allows two trains to queue on outbound at any time. And two trains to queue inbound. That should be, should be, in theory, quite reasonable. Now... Are we going to have to redo any signals over here? Uh, I feel like I feel like this one needs a signal, possibly here. There we go. Okay, but then this one needs a signal. Where's its signal? Okay. That has a signal right there. So if they're chugging along here and there's one train wanted to come in there, that's going to have to wait until there. Yeah, I might need to put an extra signal in. And also whilst I'm at it, I am going to remove... I no longer need this signal or this signal. Nor do I need this signal. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's some that's some signals cleared, which is important. That's always always important for us. So we've got trains coming in like that. I could add another signal to really allow traffic to bunch up. If I added a set of signals just there, that would allow traffic to bunch up. I'd rather not. 
Yeah, I, I don't want to. I don't want traffic to bunch up there. And potentially these signals need to be moved ever so slightly forward now, uh, in order to allow a train to really fit. I think a train should fit in there. But I don't. I don't want trains getting stuck. So it should be okay. That should be okay then. All the other outbound signals are fine, they're quite bunched up, and then once we get out here, you can see the signals are a lot further apart. Alright, tell you what, let's uh let's get that saved right now. We'll override that save. You can see how just how many saves we have. But uh, let's override that save and or should I say overwrite, not override. Should we let should we play this? Let's play this and see what happens. January 1961. Here we go. Are you okay? Oh, right. Of course, 1961. What do we have? We have an EMD GP7 Sioux line. Ooh, we could take one up in Canada. Alright, now you are initially going to be on the wrong side, I'm sure. Now that looks pretty good. All right, now who are you? Right, okay. Now these trains, I need to, uh, I need to change. I need to change these trains over. Someone explained to me how these work, so I am going to change these. Um, as a matter of fact, because we do have money, I'm literally going to change these right now for a replacement. Now I don't want to put seven on them anymore because I found that seven is a little bit too. It's not good enough. It's too much for these trains to handle. So the way it works, if I can find the right colors, and I will find the right colors eventually, there we go. So we're going to use this one. So we go for one of those. Then we are going to go for, oh, hold on. We've got 52 and 53. Hello. What's the difference between 52 and 53? I cannot see a difference. Okay, you can see how many trains we now have available to us, and it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, we've got 55 as well. Hmm. Ah. Well, I tell you what, we're going to use the 52s for now. We've got the nickel plate road, we could use something on that. Uh, we've got Amtrak available to us, which is uh, interesting. Always interesting. Right, let's go for our wagon. So what I am going to do is we've got seven on this, right? So I am going to actually switch this over from seven to six. We're going to add these. We're going to go one, two, three. Then I'm going to add... Now, I don't know if this is what... Whoever left this comment, I'm not sure if this is what you meant. So you then do that. Then you go back to this and you go... Um, where is it gone? One, two, three. I think that's what you meant. I'm not all too sure. So apparently this is supposed to be in the middle, which I, I didn't know. I thought these were meant to be at the front, but apparently it's in the middle. So let's actually get those replaced. And if, if they look if they look rubbish, we're, we'll change them over again. It doesn't really matter. Right, so you'll stop. Good. What will you stop for? I'm a little bit confused, though. I am a little bit confused as to what it's going to stop for. I'm not sure if that train fits in this gap as well, so it's a good thing I'm reducing the, the train a little bit in size. But that is a new approach, and we've got trains going overhead, and we've got trains coming in along here... You're headed to Philadelphia, right? I thought you were supposed to head to Washington first. Oh well. Alright, let's see what this looks like. This is going to be important for us. There we go. Oh, the colours aren't perfect. Oh, the colours certainly are not perfect. Yeah, m most certainly not perfect colours. 
but they're okay. They, they are okay. I think I might go back with, to the green. In fact, I am going to go back to the green. Just because we can. Uh, do that, do that. Go back on this, and we will add the green one in again. So it's one of these, and we want one of these. So let's get this right. So we've got that there, and that went at the end, but that's not supposed to go at the end. So that's supposed to go in the... You know what? I feel like I am going to put that at the front. I know it's not supposed to go like that, but I feel in the middle it's not going to work at the moment. So, yeah. We tried it. We did try it. But uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do do one later that uh, that works like that. Anyway, let's have a look at we're supposed to be looking at how this is running. All right, who are you? You're going to Philadelphia. Yeah, see that that just looks a little bit out of place for now anyway. All right, so you're stuck there now. Why is everybody going to Philadelphia? That's my question. Yeah, everybody's decided, no, we're going to go to Philadelphia. Alright, in comes one. You're going to wait to swap over. You should swap over now. Good. You'll wait for this one to cross over. Obviously, this one's naturally on the wrong side. Now you'll be cleared in, surely. No, who's who's cleared in next? You're cleared in next. That's interesting. Obviously, there's uh, the changing of everything's had a bit of a has caused a bit of an issue. But trains should be able to get in and out very shortly. There you go. That one's leaving. There we go. That's it's all going to start working now. Right, and we've got trains coming in and out of here now. So we've. That's better. Now these are going to where they should be going. Alright. That little shuttle's come in there. This one's now going out that way. I feel like this this could be working. Yeah, apart from this this here that just needs to clear itself out. Which should clear itself out pretty much momentarily. Yeah, it should clear itself out momentarily. Oh, in fact, it has cleared itself out. There you go. There you go. That's cleared itself out. This is running without a hitch. I'm just waiting for the really busy traffic to come along. That's what I'm really waiting for. All right, we're going to be changing these trains over in this video as well, actually. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out what one of these are. Because these are this one's going to the museum. Where's our little museum? I haven't forgotten about the museum. It sits over here. Yeah, here's here's a museum and we don't have one of those trains. So um right, how do we get it to the museum? That's the big question. How do we get it to the museum? I had this line here, which I was supposed to link up to the museum, but it really it never happened. Uh, where does the blue line end up? It ends up over here. From here, where can you go? You can go that way. All right, you can't actually get to the museum. However, having one of the silliest ideas ever if I were to put a little depot here and then send trains out that are exact replicas of the trains we had send them onto the museum line that should do the trick and then we can replace those that in fact that's just there we go that's wonderful right let's do that and someone give me if somebody can give me the dates of uh, what or when that train ran. In fact, we've got one over here in St. Louis. Here we go. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to... Um, 
how should we run this we'll cheat we will definitely cheat let's go for the where are the museum lines where do they go they go from st louis to naperville all right and we're set up to unload only on st louis okay let's create uh, da, da, da. just trying to work out what i should create now yeah let's do the same thing so we're going to do um museum uh this one is supposed to be chicago to washington i think that's what this one was chicago to washington again we're going to have it in that color and we're going from st louis to naperville west exactly as we had before except it is going to pass through let's see where should we go i want you to go through that please there we go fantastic all right that's chicago washington now what was the chicago washington train let's figure it out uh chicago washington chicago washington chicago washington you vehicles it is a 260 mogul with a clerestory passenger car in and we're going to find out the color as well we need a color where are you no nope, you're in a tunnel you're not going to help right you is it in like a blue purpley color or a deep blue it's a deep blue i couldn't tell from that whether it was a deep blue or a purple okay fantastic and uh you over here give me a 260 mogul please in deep blue no not that blue is it that blue or that blue i hmm i think it's this blue there we go one of them with a where's the uh wagon clerestory was it clerestory is that what's called clerestory yeah uh like so with one two three four five of those we're going to set you on the museum line so we'll look for museum chicago washington we'll bring up that line and we're going to go for this to be unload only unload only Let's watch this train go to the museum. This is going to be our museum train. And as a matter of fact, whilst it's doing that, we're going to make sure that it stays new by adding in the same train to constantly replace itself. That in deep blue with these one two three four five replace yourself always at 75 percent automatic replacement on now if somebody can give me the dates for when these trains were running from and to that would be wonderful and i will put that in the train so i'll pop that on the train or on the line one or the other but there you go that's going out for its final run Pullman car. Fantastic. Let's uh, fast forward, make sure this gets to its destination. And then we'll stop it, and that's where it's going to stay. Nope, Fred, you're not going to be picking up anybody. Oh, there's another train leaving. the train arriving and so we're going to change those trains over which means that's going to make it a lot better for us in terms of speed and acceleration and we're going to change it for an Atlantic because that's what we've been using the whole time so we're going to continue using uh, the Atlantics because uh, that's just the better that's just the, the train of choice I'm afraid here we go
the final journey of this train. Who's coming the other way? I don't even know. Oh look, it's another... Oh, how nice. Taking a different, uh, different type of carriage, but it's another mogul. Fantastic. All right, let's uh, watch this settle into its new home. We're going to push it up right towards uh, the front. Yeah, we'll pop it up right towards the front. Uh, you. Can you just bring my, your other carriage back, please? There we go. Thank you. Lovely. Look at this one. Rusting away that one is. This one looks in decentish condition. And this one's now pulling in. Fantastic. We might need to expand this museum. And you can stop your train right about. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. About there. And there we have it. That has now stopped in the museum. Perhaps that's our thumbnail for the video. I think that should be our thumbnail for the video. Fantastic. And that pretty much brings me to the end of this episode. So, we've managed to... Um, in fact, no. I tell you what, before we end this episode, I'm going to do one more quick thing. And that is actually change those Washington trains over. Is that one of them? No. Where are you? Is that one of them? There we go. Let's get this changed over. How old are these trains? 72 years. Alright, so if we go back 72 years in time, maybe we'll, we'll work this one out. Does it give us any more details in 72 years? It does not. I'm actually going to wait for this to tick over to 73. It's been running so when when that says it's been running for 73 years that's when I'm gonna pause it and that's how that's what I'm gonna label that other train I don't know why I'm following this it's right there I just feel like it's it's necessary to follow this train on one of its last runs Everything runs so smoothly when every when things work, it's all really smooth. I'm actually quite impressed with my road network or my rail network. I think this train would still pull a profit, honestly. If we were running costs, I think that train would still pull a profit. I know which trains wouldn't, that's for sure. Right, November 1962. Wow, I guess I must have just missed when it turned 72. Unless that doesn't, re that doesn't update. No, no, it's genuinely okay. Next stop, Silverliner, Pennsylvania Railroad. Ooh, that is something we're going to use. I think we're going to use that Silverliner. For something. January. Come on. Come on. Anytime now. 73, there it is. It was in February. So if we take so February 1963 is when it turned 70. So if we take away 63 years from that, 1900, it would have been 10 years old. So it would have been brand new in 1890. That's when we took this. That's when we got this train. 1890. So 
let's go ahead and go for this train that line museum chicago washington we're going to go 1890 to 1963 there we go in the next video we will change these trains over and get to work on another section of track that needs upgrading so make sure you join me for that thank you very much for watching please remember to hit the like button if you like this video subscribe to the channel for more videos on transports fever season 2 the great lakes and series or season 3 depending on how you wish to say it this looks pretty good i am fairly happy with that and it seems to work there is no traffic anymore which is great which means we can up the capacity over here or maybe get rid of some trains as i have alluded to and uh, there have been comments telling me that maybe that is a good idea so we will certainly see last but not least do support me on patreon link to that is in the description box below your support would be massively massively appreciated and it would help me out a huge huge amount and um if you even if you give me just one dollar if you can just one dollar would be lovely and every amount will give you access at the very least to my discord server and the lounge channel in the discord server where there is a fair amount of discussion that goes on every day so make sure you uh check that out I think that's about it from me. I will see you guys next time in Transport Fever, Series 2 or Season 2, The Great Lakes.